show you guys how to make Ninja Turtle nunchucks for Michelangelo. Uh, so we're going to do that. You start out with these foam noodles and you cut them to whatever size you want for the grips. Like that. We got our two, our two grips here. Yep. So we have the handles. I'm going to show you how to make the chain for the nunchuck. We can take any kind of rope that you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, however thick you want it. And then uh, we're not going to cut the length of the rope because it's going to change because based on the chain. So we're going to start out. We make a little, a little loop like this. Okay, like that. And then we come through the loop and we pull this like that. And that's how we get it started. So we want to leave a little bit of excess here on the end here. We want to leave some excess, so we're going to we do that again. Oops, there we go. So we pull this through like that. Now we have our first loop. And what we do is I put our fingers through the loop and we grab the next, the next loop we pull through, and the next loop we pull it through, and we just keep reaching through the loop and pulling through. And what it's going to do is it's going to start to look like that. So there's a chain that gets started. Okay? So we're going to keep making this thing here. And you make it as long as you want to make it. <clears throat> Here's the end of the rope. The, the chain length. I'm just making sure it's the right size that I want to do. Okay, that's the right size. So now the last thing we do is we pull, well we can cut it to whatever length we want. So I'm just going to pick this length through here. We want to have uh, a little bit of rope dangling over, which I'll show you I'll show you the reason in a little bit. So we pull the last string through and this is what makes your chain a chain. Can I see the handle? Okay. And we pull these strings through the tube. Okay, I have the tape. Thank you. What we're going to do is we're going to use duct tape. It's silver, very strong, looks nice on the ends. We're going to pull the, the string end, the end of the rope, like this. We're going to pull it almost all the way out, right about there, and then we're going to wrap the duct tape over it. And as we pull this around here, we're going to take the, the, the rope or string, whatever you have, and then fold it back up. And what we're doing is we're, we're locking the, uh, the rope. There you go. Locking the rope with the duct tape. that. Okay, keep wrapping it around. And then we're going to do that again. This way it will stay in there. Okay, see how I did that? Yeah. Every time we wrap it around, tape around, we move the rope up again. So it's, the rope is wrapped under every layer, and it's locked in place, so it's not going to go anywhere now. Thank you. you. Do the same thing with the other side. Feed the rope through, chain through the tube. I don't need some, some tape. tape. Yes, I need some more tape. Big piece of tape right there. Oh, yeah. Not daddy, look. Yes, I see that, I know. And we're going to do the same thing here. Yes, I'm going to do that one too. And it's almost done. Mm -hmm. And there you go. You have the nunchucks for Michelangelo for Ninja Turtles. Ow. Here you go. Alright.
Can you guys say bye? Bye. 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 Okay, so I was making the nunchucks and attaching the duct tape to these handles, but uh, you can also color it with any other tape. You can get these different types of electrical tapes from, uh, from wherever hardware stores. Now this is Michelangelo's orange nunchucks. I didn't make the swords, obviously, but you can get any type of sword you want and just put colored tape on there to match the color and the uh, size for Raphael. Let's put some red um, electrical tape on there. So that works pretty good. And the last weapon was Donatello's bow staff. So what I did was, uh, again, I just took a noodle, but these noodles are too floppy, so they're not very good for the bow staff. And I got a uh, PVC pipe from the hardware store and they obviously they come longer in five foot or ten foot sections and so you have to cut it down with a saw or a PVC a pipe cutter and I measured it to the right size there and this is three quarters of an inch you want to make sure that it fits snug in there so three quarters of an inch fits nice and snug right in there so push that through small pieces here. We're going to cover the top like that. Wrap it down. It's looking ugly right now, of course, but I'm going to wrap it around sideways too. So that's just going to cap off the end so it's three layers of duct tape on there. We're going to wrap it around to hold those in place. So now you have a safe, a safe end to this, and it's it's very rigid, but it's foamy and lightweight. See? If you wanted to make it like Donatello, purple, you just wrap some purple tape on there. Just wrap that around. And there you go. So now we have Donatello's. Well, I haven't. I didn't do the other side right now. I'll do that uh, later. But now you can see how it's done. And so you have your weapons. That's it.